Today's video is gonna be a Q&A, so if you only came here to see me make beats, uh, just tune in to Wednesday's video. And I also announced the winner of the Escape Sample Pack contest at the end of the video, so stick around for that. What's up everybody, Chris Puncelon here, back with another video. First, a shout out to the homie The Shields, always uh, supporting me and um, been supporting me for a really long time. Not sure if somebody has asked you this before, but what slash when was the defining moment when you knew Music was your calling, and did you learn any instruments in school? I don't know if there's a defining moment um, where I knew music was my calling, but I do have a specific memory. Uh, a couple years ago when I was working at my college, I would have to go to work at nine, and I would go to the gym at like six, and then right after the gym, I would come home and make as many beats as I could before I went to work, and I just remember at like 8.45, um, I would be stressing out because like I'd have to go to work, but I'd want to stay home and make music. Um, so I remember that was when I really, really wanted to figure out how can I make this a full-time gig. Did I learn any instruments? Um, in middle school, I was in orchestra, so I played the violin for three years. And uh, a few years ago, I took piano lessons for like three months. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Fuck, I have the wrong shirt. There we go. Since you have a following now, have you been hit up by a rapper for a beat? And if so, have they paid their producer? Um, a few rappers have hit me up. Nobody, uh, I mean, I guess one, I mean, I, can't, I guess I can't talk about that yet. But yes, mostly all of the rappers and singers that hit me up pay their, uh, pay for their beats. But I do have a funny story. Uh, a couple years ago, when I first started really trying to sell beats, um, um, I, hit this, I hit this person up asking if they wanted to purchase some beats and they pretty much just told me um, that I need them more than they need me, so they're good on purchasing beats for me. And I actually saved the email in a folder. Um, shout out to Wade, Logan. That's who these next two shirts are going to. Fuck, I forgot the note. I forgot to put the fucking note. All right, and the last question for this packing session, because I just keep fucking up. I gotta focus while putting these orders together. Have you considered self-learning any other instruments? And if so, which ones beyond keys and guitar? I have thought about learning how to play the saxophone. Um, I do have the guitar over there. It's chilling, I still got it. Haven't added guitar to a beat in a while uh, just because I haven't felt like it. Circle. Can you tell us music theory that you find to be the most helpful to create music? I've said this a bunch of times and I've sent it to a bunch of people already, but Michael News How to Fit Chords video is has been the most helpful video I've ever watched and it gave he gave me tips that I could immediately immediately apply to my production and he basically just teaches how to fit chords uh, how to take a scale and how to figure out all of the chords in that scale and how to just make them all work Click the link in the description to go and watch that also the circle of fifths uh, video that he made is also super helpful Do you prefer making hype turn up beats or chill slash lo-fi beats? It really just depends on the mood that I'm in It's heavily dependent on the last song that I just listened to so if I want to make some hype shit then I'll listen to some hype shit to make some hype shit. If I wanna make some chill shit, then I'll listen to some chill shit and make some chill shit. M wavy, XL wavy. What is your favorite song slash album at the moment? Favorite album is Astro World by Travis Scott, and my favorite song at the moment is probably Pretty Girl by Felly. Uh, he just dropped it last night, and I've been listening to it nonstop. I'm a fan. If you don't feel like making beats, do you force it or do you go do something else and come back when you're inspired? If I have to hit a deadline, meaning like if I have to put out a sample pack for the Patreon people or if I have to upload a video tomorrow, then I'll force it, but I won't force it, meaning like I'm gonna sit in front of Ableton and try to force something out. I will sit down and I'm gonna tell myself, all right, this is time for me to look for inspiration. I'm gonna watch people make beats. I'm gonna listen to some music. I'm gonna listen to some new music. 
um, I'm gonna watch a documentary, and then that usually sparks me to make something. I have to force myself to look for inspiration and then I can go and create something. Also, deadlines are super big for me. Um, making my deadlines public to you guys and telling you guys when things are coming out has made my productivity go up a bunch. So maybe making deadlines for yourself will help with your creativity. Here at the post office just dropped off a few packages. Um, I got a question from David Noche on Twitter and he basically asked, how did I grow my following? Did I buy ads or did I just put out quality content? And the answer to that is I just put out quality content consistently. I've been putting out content on YouTube for four to five years now. I just started focusing around music maybe two years ago. Um, but consistent quality content and quality is subjective. So, I mean, whatever your definition of quality is, put out content that I like around what I like, which is music, interacted with everybody who interacted with my content and just kept building, growing and staying patient. And I know that's like not really great advice for somebody who wants like a quick fix, but there's literally no quick fix unless you like buy followers, which is fucking whack if you do that but putting out consistent quality content and just staying patient and staying true to who I am and not trying to be like anybody else and just understanding that if I stay true to who I am, there are people out there that will gravitate towards the content. Thanks for the question. How did you know it's time for the world to hear your music as a producer? I'm asking this because I'm at the point where I feel like my music is there, but I just can't let it go, so I make excuses like I need to tweak that mix a little bit more. Um, I fall into this trap too. I'm not really sure when I felt like it was time for the world to hear my music, but giving myself deadlines has um, pushed my output a lot. So if I have a deadline to put out a video on Monday, then I know that Monday, the day I'm gonna upload, uh, the mix has to be good to me and any other uh, second guesses I have, I kind of have to let that go because I have to put out the product on that day. And when I put it out, I'm already moving on to the next thing. So I think, you know, understanding that music is all subjective. So what you like isn't what somebody else likes and what they like isn't what you like. So just put out a bunch of stuff. Let people judge what you just put out while you're already moving on to the next thing. Have you ever tried FL Studio and what was your first DAW? Yes, I've tried FL Studio. FL Studio was actually the first DAW that I ever downloaded. Uh, I downloaded FL Studio and then I bought like this MPD 28 or something and I gave up after a day. How do you prepare your workplace before recording? Um, right now, I just make sure that you see all of the equipment in the background so that you guys uh, remember that I am a music producer. Um, I'm joking, but also, I'm not really joking. How much do you hate country music on a scale of one to 10? Actually, I enjoy country music. Um, when I don't have access to like using an aux cord or I only have access to the radio, I do actually listen to the country station here in Las Vegas, which is 95.5, The Bull. I don't know, I, I enjoy uh, country pop, I guess. All right, guys, I'm going to end it there. Uh, a little bit of a different video today. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and got some insight into my life. Thank you to everybody that purchased the Pay Your Producer t-shirts. I still have a few left, so hit the link in the description um, or head to chrispunsalon.com to get yourself a Pay Your Producer t-shirt. I got two different kinds on the website. Uh, more content coming soon. Thank you guys so much for paying attention. Please pay your producers, and I'll see you guys in the next video.